Hello, welcome you all to Avbau. Today we will see the constituents of petroleum products. That means what is petroleum made of. Then we will learn about how to separate them. That is fractionation or distillation. And last but not the least, the famous doctor's test or sweetening process of petroleum. So the crude petroleum oil is made up of many constituents and most of them are hydrocarbons. So depending upon the nature of those hydrocarbons present in petroleum, it can be classified as either paraffinic crude oil or naphthenic crude oil or asphaltic crude oil and lastly mixed crude oil. As you can see from the name, paraffinic crude oil means the major component should be saturated hydrocarbons that is alkenes and the general formula of alkenes is CnH2n plus 2. What is N? N is an integer. Then the next, naphthenic crude oil, it means saturated rings like cyclohexane or like cyclobutan. The general formula for saturated rings is CnH2n where N is from 1 to 9. Now this general formula CnH2n is also applicable for alkenes like ethylene that is C2H4 but these alkenes are not rings that is not in a circular shape. So please remember the difference between these two kind of structures. One is alkene and another is saturated or naphthenic ring. Now the next kind of crude oil is known as asphaltic crude oil and that is mostly aromatic compounds like benzene, toluene, aniline etc. And the last one is mixed crude oil which is a mixture of paraffinic plus naphthenic plus asphaltic crude oil and in our country India mostly we get this kind of crude oil only that is mixed crude oil. Now to separate all this kind of individual constituents from petroleum product we need to apply some technique and the most common technique we use is distillation or fractionation. In this technique various constituents are removed from crude oil by separating the lower boiling point fractions from the higher boiling point fractions and that technique is known as distillation. The lower boiling point fractions are the lighter fractions. So in a distillation column, they will be separated from the top and the higher boiling fractions or the heavier fractions are separated from the bottom of that distillation column. So here is a complete diagram of petroleum refining process where the crude petroleum is refined by this distillation column and the top of this distillation column we get the lighter constituents and at the bottom of this distillation column we get the heavier fractions or higher boiling point fractions. The lighter fractions are LPG that is refinery gas, gasoline or petrol, naphtha, solvent spirit, kerosene, diesel, gas oil etc. And the heavy fractions are lubricating oil, petroleum, light fuel oil, heavy fuel oil, bitumen or tar which we use for the road making asphalt, residue pitch or coke. But if in GSI mains exam, you are asked to write about the petroleum fractionation and constituents of petroleum, don't use this chart, rather draw this diagram which is more informative and easy for marks carrying. So there are two kinds of distillation. One is atmospheric pressure distillation and another distillation is done in vacuum. So here we have taken paraffinic crude and asphaltic crude and applied both kinds of distillation that is atmospheric and vacuum distillation for paraffinic and also for asphaltic crude oil. So when we apply atmospheric distillation, atmospheric pressure distillation to paraffinic crude, we get a mixture of gas, petrol, kerosene, diesel, gas oil in one portion and the other portion contains fuel oil and residue. But if we apply vacuum distillation in case of paraffinic crude we get five separate portions one is wax one is lubricating oil then light fuel oil heavy fuel oil and lastly pitch this pitch is bitumen which is very useful for the road making next is asphaltic crude distillation in case of asphaltic crudes atmospheric pressure distillation we get in one portion the mixture of gasoline, petrol, kerosene, diesel, gas oil etc. And in another portion there is fuel oil or residue. But when we subject asphaltic crude oil to vacuum distillation we get four distinct parts. One is diesel, another is lubricating oil, then heavy fuel oil and lastly bitumen or pitch. So in case of answer writing first write this paragraph 
about four kinds of crude oil that is one paraffinic then naphthenic asphaltic and lastly mixed crude oil then write one or two lines about the distillation and fractionation then directly go to this chart so this is all about constituents of petroleum and its distillation now let's talk about a very important laboratory test of petrol that is known as doctor's test it is done for most of the petroleum products to remove the sourness why it is needed because the sourness of petroleum products with a foul smell originates from the fact that most of the petroleum contains sulfur related compounds or sulfur itself so to convert this crude sour petroleum product into a sweet one we need to apply this sweetening process so by definition removal of sulfur and its compounds like hydrogen sulfide mercaptans what are mercaptans mercaptans are like rsh so r can be any alkyl group if it's ethyl then we will call it ethyl mercaptan if it's methyl then we will call it methyl mercaptan like that so sh group the presence of sh group is responsible for the name of mercaptan so removal of sulfur and its compounds like h2s mercaptans etc from petroleum product is called sweetening because presence of these compounds make the petroleum product sour there are five known ways to remove the sourness one is the famous doctor's test another is copper chloride sweetening process where copper chloride is the cupric chloride that is cucl2 not cuprous chloride third is solutizer process fourth is catalytic desulfurization process and the last one is hydro refining process so we will limit ourselves to doctor's test only what is doctor's test what we do in doctor's test in doctor's test the oil sample is subjected to an equal volume of sodium plumbite what is sodium plumbite i will write the formula in reaction part so a sodium plumbite solution and a small amount of sulfur and after shaking the oil sample we will allow it to stabilize for a few minutes and then we will check for a dark color at the interface then the oil sample is sweet so we need to check for dark color now what is responsible for this dark color if there is any mercaptans present in petroleum product it will react with sodium plumbite na2 pbo2 to generate prs whole 2 and this is oil soluble plus 2 naoh now if you remember we also added a small amount of crude sulfur along with sodium plumbite so now comes the role of that small amount of sulfur pbrs whole 2 will react with sulfur to produce pbs or lead sulfide along with a byproduct that is rssr now this lead sulfide is nothing but a black precipitate and this is responsible for the dark color of petroleum product after carrying out doctor's test so this is all about doctor's test thank you and have a nice day